Welcome back to another juicy episode from Medical Arts Official. Today we are going to break down and share the spiciest information about the skeletal system. What is the skeletal system? The skeleton is the internal framework of the human body, and another name for it, the endoskeleton. Endo means internal or inside. Skeleton in here means the bones. While we use the term endoskeleton for humans, it is good to know that some animals have an exoskeleton. What on earth is, osteology? Let us do the magic to understand it better than ever. This medical term is again from a Greek origin, osteo. It involves the bones, ology. Means the science, putting both parts together, we end up with osteology, the science of bones, when we talk about the science of an organ. We mean many things, including anatomy, physiology, related diseases, and more. What is the skeleton system made of? It consists of two major groups of bones that we will discuss now. The first group is called the axial. It contains the bones that form the center of the body. The second group of bones is called the appendicular. It is composed of the bones that form the peripheral limbs. The axial contains three major parts. First, we have the skull. The skull itself is made of two groups of bones, the cranium and the facial bones. You can have these diagrams by visiting our Facebook page. The second part of the axial skeleton is the vertebral column, which is made of 33 vertebrae. Furthermore, the rib cage is made of the sternum and 12 pairs of ribs. The appendicular is made of more bones, 126 bones. This allows for more flexibility in our daily activities. To simplify the understanding of the appendicular skeleton, we will break it down into two parts, the upper limbs and the lower limbs. The appendicular. The upper limbs part of the appendicular skeleton is called pectoral. It is formed of two main groups of bones. One is the girdle, which connects the limbs to the axial skeleton. The girdle contains the clavicle and the scapula. The second part is the appendage, which consists of the upper limb bones. Some are humerus, radius, ulna, and other bones that form the wrist and hand. The appendicular. The lower limbs part is called the pelvic. Again, it is made of two prominent bones. First, the pelvic girdle connects the lower limbs to the axial skeleton. The pelvic girdle is made of sacrum and coccyx. Plus, the other bones from the pelvis. The second part is the appendage, which consists of the lower limbs bones, femur, tibia, fibula, and the bones of the ankle and the foot. Now that we know how the skeleton system is put together, let us explore the smaller unit of this system, the bones. Each bone is made of bone tissues. We recognize two basic types of bone tissues compact bone, dense, highly vascularized, and the spongy bone, characterized by many open spaces that act as storage to minerals and some other cells. The bone marrow cells are crucial for the continuation of life, we will learn more about it in a moment. We recognize four different shapes of bones, this will be our last classification, the giant bones in our body are called the long bones. They are mostly made of compact, rigid compact tissues, examples of some bones that fall under this class are the humerus and femur. Another shape of bones is the short, cube-shaped bones contain mostly spongy tissues, and these kinds of bones are found in our wrists. We recognize the flat bones. They are thin and flat, contain spongy bones that are wrapped with compact bone. Some flat bones are ribs and sternum. The final shape is called irregular bones. A bone that fits no other category is included under irregular bones. Examples are vertebrae and the hip bone. We cannot live long without our skeletal system, we need it to provide us with a standard human body structure. We would be non-functional and unable to do anything. The skeletal system protects the soft tissues and organs like the brain and heart. Without our skull, for example, a landing ball on our head could lead us to permanent paralysis or even death. Two other functions will be added to our list. The skeletal system stores about 90% of our body's minerals like calcium and phosphorus. Bones store fats too. 70% of the bone marrow is fat. The stored fat can be used as an energy source when needed. The last function that we are going to discuss is called hematopoiesis. It means the formation of blood cells. This includes the production of red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Facts about the skeletal system. The first fact, a, a newborn has 300 bones in its body, an adult has only 206. Now you ask where did the other 100 bones get lost? 
Well, many of the bones fuse with growth to form one more prominent bone. Another fact, the smallest bone in our body is located in the middle ear, and it is called the stapes. Our next video will discuss more information concerning a healthy lifestyle and factors that affect our bones and skeletal system that may lead to early osteoporosis, stress fractures, and many other preventable diseases. Some of those factors that affect the bones are minerals, hormones, vitamins, genetics, medicines, lifestyle, smoking, and proteins like collagen. We now have come to an end. If you enjoyed our content, please like and subscribe. To support our channel, share the content with your family and friends, and let us know in the comments below what impresses you the most about our human body.